There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can roll the image, make it flutter. We can change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it to crystal clarity for all that you see and hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery. Hello, my name is Paul, and with my two partners, Casey and Jacob, we were given the assignment to investigate the paranormal here in Oklahoma. After doing a small amount of research, we found that apparently Oklahoma is connected with a phenomenon that occurs all around the world. As you saw in the previous video, that was a, another vehicle that was apparently moving uphill as a response to some paranormal effect. So in this uh, documentary, what we'll be doing is investigating the Gravity Hill, which is located in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Our plan is to bring equipment out so that we can test the hill, uh, both scientifically and um, also use our own uh, visual gauges to see what we actually see for ourselves out there, if it does actually even look like a hill or um, if it's just an optical illusion. Um, and I believe we will also try and do some investigations into what other people have found. Um, this phenomenon appears to be pervasive across the entire internet, so uh, we are not the only ones doing this experiment, and we hope to show good evidence. Well, there are many stories surrounding Gravity Hill. Some of the more commonly heard ones are those of extraterrestrial worlds. Across message boards and forums, there is talk of other life forms that are not of this earth, who commonly come to a place named Gravity Hill. One man decided to test these claims for himself, and to see if what he's read and seen on the internet was actually true. He made the drive to Gravity Hill, and as he got there, he parked and put his car in neutral. To his surprise, the car started rolling uphill. Is this a place on earth that really defies gravity? Do things really roll uphill? Just as he was rolling uphill in his car, he saw a UFO land right in the field next to him. Just as it landed, it was gone. He was not able to describe what it was that he saw, but he does believe that it was out of this world. Similarly, another couple decided that they would test the mist for themselves, only they were quite skeptical. They got there, they parked their car, and to their surprise, the car started to roll uphill. Just then, a very bright light could be seen at the top of the hill. They said it was so bright that it was scary. At this point, they had no more interest in determining if this myth was true or false, but rather to leave the unknown unknown. Gravity Hill. We're on a peaceful, beautiful rural road just outside of Bartlesville, but word on the street is, this hill is haunted. Yeah, people come out here, they put their car in neutral, and someone or something starts pushing that car uphill down towards the railroad tracks. We are by no means the first to test the legend of Gravity Hill. Just check out YouTube, where brave souls before us have documented their attempts at finding the supernatural. Is that a cool or what? <laughs> Golly! When we went to check it out ourselves, we even had some drive-by experts tell us what they thought. If you Google it, it is on one of the, the scariest places in the world. Scariest place in the world? Yes, is what it was. Here in Bartlesville. I heard it was there's a lady whose car stalled on the train tracks. Um, that are just down the road. So um, she's like bitter. Her car got hit by the train, and so she uh, hangs around here. And anyone who parks over here, she'll push them towards the track. I always will say, oh, All right, record that, record that. Record it, record it. Record it. Record it. Record it. Got a real train here. Oh, one side. Man. Last minute crossers. Come on, man. It's got a train right there. There's no single stop sign. Man, that's not logic. Yeah. Come on, man. Why is a train coming through here when there's nothing to even stop anybody? I mean, if you have loud music and everything, you can just die right there. I mean, come on. It only makes sense that somebody would have actually been hit here. Come on, man. I can be crushed right now. Man, holy shit. We can be gone. Look, look, the tracks aren't even hot. You would think that a train going over wow. metal would heat it up, right?
major part of this myth is the ghost story. Um, the, the story of the 30 children that were in a school bus. The school bus stalled just before the train tracks, and the children got out to help push the bus over the train tracks, and a train hit the bus, killing all of those involved. Here we are at the Matoka Cemetery. This is the cemetery mentioned in the myth in which the children are buried. Uh, the myth goes that the children leave the cemetery and help push the vehicles up the hill, which is just down the road, probably about two blocks from where we're located at now. It's for any car that stalls or is near the railroad track in neutral, the kids will literally push you over the railroad track and pull you to safety. What I don't understand, though, is why the kids would push you. If you're not near the railroad track, why would they push you on the railroad track and over it? I mean, if you're already safe, 30 meters behind a railroad track, why would the kids push you across? And when you just look around, you'll see random lights. You see right now? Oh, wait, wait, I think I saw one. Hold on. This place has to be, you know, haunted or something. You don't just see lights coming out of nowhere. It just doesn't happen. It's small little flickers. Is the camera even picking them up or no? Yeah. Not right now. Can we even see? We checked out this wonderful video camera from the UCO technology department. We get here. Mind you, we left camera off with a 90% battery charge. We arrive. She'll turn on and she'll turn off. Thanks, UCO. This is the hill that we were talking about that is supposedly defies gravity and objects including a heavy car will roll up the hill with the engine off and the car in neutral. There are many stories that we've talked about, aliens, ghosts, so we're here to put it to the test and see if this actually happens. In the, behind the truck to, real, to see if the fingerprints, supposedly, every time the kids push you, you're going to see a little fingerprints in the back of your truck or the car, so we're going to see if that happens. So we're going to put the powder now. So we're going to do the last cleaning to show you. We're going, we're going to do it right. And make sure this is all right. All right. That way we can see any fingerprints that come on here, anything like that. It doesn't seem anything right now, so it's completely free. It's looking pretty clean. Okay, now you see this one is a new one. Brand okay. new, just took the top off. So, So we're taking off the fingerprints so that way we can pick up new ones. So one of the myths that we're investigating is that the ghosts of small children are push the vehicle up the hill. What we've done is applied gold bond body powder to the bumper of his vehicle in an even fashion. Um, we would expect to see any fingerprints, as uh, another poster on a message board said, This is they did this and they saw tiny little fingerprints pushing the vehicle. He currently has the vehicle in neutral and it is rolling away from me up the hill. Okay, the car is off. It's in neutral. Letting my foot off the brake. As you can see, my feet are not on the pedals. And we are slowly rolling forward here. Okay. There's dust everywhere. Alright, so... No, look, look, no look way. At these ones, right? I don't believe it. Are you... Look at the fingers right here. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh. It is moving forward and we see no fingerprints appearing on the vehicle.
I'm going to say that it's probably something paranormal that we're going to have to find out through testing. So we started off on our adventure to Bartlesville, Oklahoma to go examine Gravity Hill. Now, there were a bunch of rumors that we saw on the internet from uh, little ghostly children, um, ranging from stories that they've been in a car accident, they were on a school bus and hit by a train, and somehow within these stories it got twisted that these kids now haunt Gravity Hill, and they will push your car up the hill. There were other stories saying uh, that there were aliens that came and landed, and this somehow made an anti-gravity effect on the hill, which would allow your car to roll up the hill. So we decided to go and investigate for ourselves, and when we got there, uh, our results were a little bit different. Yeah, so, you know, we arrived on the scene, um, and it was in the middle of the day, um, and we were expecting a very large hill, you know, with a, with a steep incline. Instead, we got slightly uphill. <laughs> um, maybe just a slight positive incline, um, and if you look at it from just the right angle, it did kind of look like you were rolling uphill. But um, as he mentioned, I mean, we even drove past it the first time. We had to uh, ask the locals for assistance to find it, and then they told us it was a, it was a road that we'd already driven past. So, um, but it did have an incline, um, so we figured we'd test the results. So we get there, we uh, put the car in neutral, and um, started at what appeared to be the bottom of the hill, and then um, actually, surprisingly enough, we did roll up the hill. Uh, once we noticed that the vehicle was rolling uphill, we decided to test it further with the with the ghost um, theory first. That would be the easiest one to test because um, ghosts are often said to, to leave some kind of impact on the physical world whenever they interact with it. So we put um, baby powder on the uh, bumper and uh, we tried to see if maybe little fingerprints were in, in fact actually pushing us up the hill. Uh, that test result was inconclusive. We did not find any fingerprints afterwards. Um, so the, we fi figured we'd use what tools we had available. So we started with the level. Uh, the level functions by using a slight, uh, small, gas bubble, small gas bubble trapped inside of a liquid uh, container. And that gas bubble always rises to the top. So you know whichever side has the bubble on it is the, the top portion of the level. And the level actually showed that we were not going uphill, but instead we were already at the top of the hill and we would be rolling downhill. Um, indicated by the fact that the bubble was on the side where our vehicle was at and not where it would be heading. Um, so this seemed pretty conclusive. I mean, it, 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 it is because of an optical illusion that it looks downhill, but really the overall direction of the landscape is downhill. Uh, it's part of a much larger valley, and I think that's the cause for the optical illusion, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it definitely has an impact with uh, the side vegetation that you'll see on the side of the road. Um, the trees and the plants that are on the side, the way that that uh, is paired with the actual ground itself, which is slightly uphill but not the road itself, makes the road look like you are going uphill. Uh, but as Paul mentioned, it was a very, very slight hill. Um, we had difficulty finding it, and uh, once we did, it was still only really seen when it was at the right angle. Um, so it seems that this has really just gotten blown out of proportion. Um, it's in a small town where there's probably not a lot to do. Um, on a lot of the forums, uh, they've talked about these stories starting off going out at night, uh, late at night when people have been drinking or doing other things, or maybe they're just looking to be scared. And uh, so I think that's uh, a big part of why this has uh, been such like a sensation on the internet and why it's, it's gotten so much hype. Um, but when we were there in the middle of the day, there was it was hard to see. So, um, and another thing worth mentioning is uh, we, we tested what we could, uh, like you said, with the ghost myth, uh, with the baby powder on the bumper, um, but when it came time to try and test the alien myth, there was really no way for us to do that. We don't have any way to test for, uh, you know, different gravity effects and where we are. Um, but I think with the, the level and the test that we did, we could prove that it is going downhill and there's really no need for any further testing. Yeah, I think more of a test into the... Into the physics behind this. This is really a test into the psychology behind how these things spread. So almost all of the stories that we read online, the people were relating a story in which before they had either been intoxicated or were going out anticipating something to happen and got themselves worked up. And I can't imagine how if you were out there in the middle of the night 
um, completely dark around you and maybe there had been a little bit to drink or something like that and you do put your car in neutral and all of a sudden you start rolling and you didn't expect to, it could create a story. Um, but these stories get passed around and amplified. Uh, we also found nothing in the records to indicate that a school bus, uh, a bus, school bus full of children actually had been um, destroyed um, or that there were any fatalities in that area. So, uh, and this seems to be the, um, you'll see in the video that we also linked several um, other people that had made documentaries about this hill. And the, the children pushing the vehicle uphill seems to be recurrent throughout all of those different stories. So rather than this being an, an evidence-based kind of suggestion for what happened, we're really just seeing people passing along a common folk story. Yeah, and as he was saying with the, uh, the psychology behind this and not really the physics, um, it, it's a classic case of the confirmation bias that people are going out to this hill, they know what they want to see, and they just look for the evidence to confirm what it is that they want. Not necessarily evidence that's going to contradict what they think or something that's going to not give them the end result that they were looking for. So uh, it's easy with the optical illusion and those things to somehow trick your mind and trick your brain into thinking like, oh my goodness, we really are rolling uphill. But uh, you know, when you're there in the daylight and you have the proper tools to test for it, um, it it's shown that it's not. We're just going downhill. So uh, appreciate you guys watching the documentary, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to debunk some other myths here in the future. So thank you. Thanks.